righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, tired as fuck, so this video is gonna suck. Review! And it is fucking hot outside, boy. Heat wave 2016, motherfuckers. Oh man, just a few weeks ago it was in the fucking minuses, fucking winter weather. And now it's just fucking dead heat. Just straight up killer fucking heat. And it's bad, boy. It's fucking bad and I'm very tired. It ain't easy, motherfuckers, watching Raw late at night and having to wake up early. It ain't easy being a wrestling fan. So this show was, you know, decent, I guess, with a side of boring and little sprinkle of suck on top of it there. It was better than it's been the past couple months, I guess. It started off with Seth Rollins. I was happy to see Seth Rollins, hoping that he was going to be a face. We might get something new. We might get something fresh, you know. It might help the ratings. A fucking face, Seth Rollins, can change the game, boy. You know what I mean? But, of course, he's still a heel. You know, the whole fucking place was cheering for him. But he has to be a fucking heel and Roman Reigns has to be face, which is fucking retarded. I mean, really, the whole place is going fucking crazy for the guy there. Why not just let him be face, you know? This, this company just refuses to give us anything. Anything we want, they have to do the fucking opposite. Fucking psycho company, fuck. Roman Reigns comes out, Seth Rollins starts to run away, so he's still gonna be like a chicken heel kind of thing there. Shane McMahon came out and he set up the main event. Rollins and Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank. Should be a, a good match there. Am I expecting Seth Rollins to win? Fuck no, it's Big Daddy Reigns this time, boy. Big Daddy, the big dog. The big motherfucking jobber there. Roman Reigns comes out, doesn't even say a word in this promo. It's, it's all Rollins. Reigns comes out, doesn't say a goddamn word. Shane McMahon sets up the match. He's got a fucking a big job to do, Roman. Just do fuck all. And just be the champion. Don't talk or anything. We're just going to claim that you're awesome there. Even though you clearly aren't. Motherfucker. First match. Sami Zayn defeated Sheamus in the Money in the Bank match. They're a qualifier. Um, you know, Sheamus just gets on my friggin' nerves now. His match is just... Don't interest me at all, but at least Sami Zayn won. And after this, Sheamus was apparently upset at the new era. He's gonna fight people from the new era there. I don't fucking know, just boring friggin' garbage there. Then the New Day... And the social outcasts had a little promo where New Day came out with a, to, with a cake. This was meant to be funny, but it wasn't. It wasn't as bad as their retarded time machine from last week. Fucking throwing each other in a big box. A fucking cardboard box and trying to sell this like it's a legit fucking fight. Throw each other in the box and they pretend that this is fucking dangerous. What a fucking joke that was, but... This week it was just the cake. The 1200th episode of Raw, they walked around. We're gonna put the cake on you! Gonna put the cake on you. Very retarded. Their social outcasts attacked them. Which led to the second match, New Day just squashed the social outcast. They nailed uh, 
whatever fucking uh, Heath Slater. <laughs> they nailed Heath Slater with the cake, a big cake like this. And he didn't even have any cake on his face or anything. They had to grab it and rub it in his face because it looked fucking stupid there. And this cake in the face gimmick or whatever. The old cake in the face has been done a fucking trillion times in TV shows, movies. This might have been the worst fucking cake in the face skit that I've ever seen in my entire life. They hit the guy right in the face with the cake. Didn't even have any cake on his friggin' face. What a big fail. You know, anything original they can do there. Oh, fucking cake in the face. How fucking innovative is this there? Fucking very cheap. Third match, Cesaro defeated The Miz. It was an all right match there. Um, the thing about Cesaro, he's a very good wrestler, but his matches nowadays are becoming watered down. It's always the uppercut, the spinning thing when he twirls people around there. It's just become, it's become like a signature move fuckfest, you know what I mean? He doesn't do big creative moves anymore. It's always the goddamn uppercut every five seconds. Chris Jericho defeated Apollo Crews. This was all right, I guess. Jericho is going to be in the money in the bank. Cesaro is going to be in the money in the bank as well. Fifth match, Big Cass defeated Bubba Ray Dudley. And Enzo Amore was there in his corner or whatever. Big Cass, it was a very short match. He won with an elbow smash. Very cheap. You know, Big Cass has no skills. No fucking skills, man. In the ring there, he's tall and that's it. And then we had an atrocious fucking segment with Charlotte turning on her father, you know. Yes, I'm happy that Flair is out of the Divas division that was just weird, uncomfortable, and not entertaining. I'm happy that Flair is gone away from Charlotte. But to have Charlotte turn on her own father, it was just very, very, very phony. Very fucking phony. <laughs> Lots of fucking bad acting in this segment. Like, very over the top. Not believable at all. Um, sixth match, Dean Ambrose defeated Dolph Ziggler. You know, he, he's going in the money in the bank, which is good, I guess. I didn't want fucking Ziggler in there. That motherfucker might warm his way back in, Ziggler, but... Uh, Match was all right, I guess. And then AJ and the club had a little segment where they split up. <laughs> this whole thing has been a big fucking fail. Why even put them together to begin with? It was all fucking nerdy, weird shit about refusing to hit Roman with a chair. And then they just split up. Very cheap, it is. A ruined opportunity. They could have done something with this, but they didn't. And in the main event, Kevin Owens defeated AJ Styles to qualify for the money in the bank. And this was pretty good. I'm happy that Kevin Owens is going in money in the bank. I hope, I fucking hope that Kevin Owens fucking wins money in the bank. I just fucking hope so. Hopefully he's going to cash in and become the champ one day. It could be Dean Ambrose, one of those two. They're Ambrose or Kevin Owens. I wouldn't mind either one. I'd love for Kevin Owens to win, you know. Become a fucking champion for fuck's sakes. But, uh, you know, it was a good match, but it just felt flat at the end. 
I was expecting AJ to get beaten up by the club. I was expecting something more. You know, a, a good match to finish the show, but it just felt flat. It's hard to explain there. It's just felt like the show wasn't complete. I don't know there. Um, it wasn't the worst show, like I said. It was decent there, but at the same time, it was boring. It wasn't, like, good. You know, it's one of those shows that it's okay. You can't technically say that it sucks, but it's, like, <laughs> you can, like, not watch and you're not missing anything type deal. Apart from Seth Rollins making his comeback, Everything else, you didn't really need to watch it, you know what I mean. It was okay, but not really good. It's just a, a decent show, I guess, with a whole lot of fucking sucky moments and a decent show that sucked fucking dead there. Alrighty, till next time. Peace! This video sucks, I'm just very fucking tired, Bill. Need to take a nap, fuck it. Ain't easy being a fucking wrestling fan, Bill. Till next time, peace.